previously on the Renko Trading Channel. In the last video, we explored how combining Renko charts with the Super Trend Indicator helped spot early trend shifts and ride longer moves with fewer distractions. We used Apple, Microsoft, and Waste Management to walk through visual trades and see how strategy testers interpret those moves. Today, we're taking it a step further. Turning a visual idea into a full strategy using TradingView. Let's get started. Hi, I'm Carl. Welcome to the Renko Trading Channel, where we turn clarity into strategy. All the ideas here are experiments, not financial advice. Let's dive in. This strategy began with a familiar tool, the Smooth Hiking Ashi Indicator. It's publicly available in TradingView and helps smooth out market noise, making trend direction easier to follow. To add it, just go to TradingView, click on Indicators, then select the Technicals tab. In the search bar, type Smooth Hiking Ashi. We're going to use the version labeled Smooth Hiking Ashi V1. Once selected, apply it directly to your Renko chart. Once the indicator is applied, we can access its source code directly. Just click on Source Code to open it in the PineScript editor. From there, copy the open source code. This gives us access to the underlying logic, which is essential if you want to move beyond just visual signals and build something fully automated. From there, I turn to ChatGPT. I shared the indicator code and asked for help converting it into a proper strategy script that we could test right inside TradingView. Let's break down the rules that ChatGPT and I came up with for this strategy. Rule 1. Enter long. We buy when the hiking ashy flips from red to green. When the indicator flips from red to green, we place the order on the first Renko brick that forms on a new date after the flip. Since Renko bricks are based on price movement, not time, multiple bricks can form on the same day. So, we wait for the next brick that appears on a different calendar date before entering the trade. Rule 2 Exit Long We sell when it flips from green to red, again, on the next brick that forms on a new date after the flip. Rule 3 Break Even Stop If we're still in the trade after three bricks and price hasn't dropped below our entry, we move the stop to break even. Rule 4 Stop If price closes below the green hiking ashy body, we exit on the next brick that forms on a new date. Rule 5 Re-enter long. If we're out of the trade and a new green Renko brick closes above the hiking ashy body, we re-enter on the next brick that forms on a new date to stay with the trend. We're using traditional fixed size Renko bricks, specifically a brick size of 3. Unlike ATR-based Renko, fixed size does not repaint, which is critical for strategy testing. However, entries often appear delayed. That's not a bug. It's because Renko bricks form based on price and size, and our confirmation logic is based on the close. So the order is placed on the next valid brick that forms on a new date. Let's copy the strategy chat GPT wrote and drop this into TradingView and walk through an example using Netflix. Copy the strategy code from chat GPT. In the Pine script editor, click Create New. Then choose Strategy as the type. Paste the code into the editor. Click Save. And then select Add to Chart to apply it. Now let's walk through a couple of trades on the chart to see if the strategy is following the rules correctly. On the Netflix chart, take a look at May 13, 2025. The hiking ashy was red that day, and it flipped green on the next. That same day, for Renko bricks were formed but the strategy waited and placed the buy order on the next trading day. That lines up perfectly with rule number one. Now fast forward to May 29th. On this day, the Renko bricks closed below the hiking ashy body. A soft stop signal. Seven red bricks were formed that day, but the strategy placed the sell order on the following trading day. That confirms rule number four is working as expected. Let's check the strategy tester results. The total profit is 542%, which is solid. 
the maximum drawdown comes in at 25%. A bit higher than I'd prefer, but still manageable. It also outperforms a buy and hold approach, which returned 508% over the same period. Now let's take a look at Meta. We had a long position that ran from April 24th to May 23rd. The exit was triggered because, on May 21st, the Renko brick closed below the hiking ashy body. Activating rule number four, the soft stop. Now, even though that condition was met on May 21st, the exit didn't actually show up on the chart until May 23rd. Why? Because Renko only forms a new brick after a full price move. And in this case, there was no new brick until two days later. That's one of the trade-offs with Renko. It filters out noise, but sometimes that delay can affect timing. What's interesting is what happened next. Between May 23rd and June 2nd, hiking Ashi flipped red on May 27th, and then turned green again on June 2nd. The strategy re-entered long on June 4th, when the next Renko brick formed on a new date. This is rule number one. But based on the setup, real-world order could have been placed as early as June 3rd. Again showing how Renko's brick timing can slightly delay what's happening under the hood. Still, this sequence shows the strategy handled the exit and re-entry logic correctly. Now let's take a look at the strategy tester for Meta. The total profit comes in at 363%, which looks decent at first glance. But the maximum drawdown is 31%. That's a bit too high and risky for my comfort. Even more concerning, the win rate is just 28%, which is lower than I'd like for a strategy to be reliable. Yes, it did outperform a buy and hold return of 277%, but the elevated drawdown and low win rate make it hard to stick with emotionally. In this case, I'd say the strategy doesn't fit meta well, at least not without further filtering or adjustments. Finally, let's take a look at how the strategy performs on Tesla. The strategy tester shows a total profit of 1,388%, which is impressive. The maximum drawdown is 28%. A bit elevated, but not unreasonable for a volatile stock like Tesla. The win rate comes in at 34%, which is still on the lower side. Now compare that to a buy and hold return of 788%. And you can see this strategy significantly outperformed. It's definitely interesting, but I think it could benefit from further tuning and optimization, especially to improve trade quality and reduce drawdown. Still, a strong showing overall. Tesla might be a solid candidate for this kind of trend-based Renko strategy. And that is our deep dive into converting the smooth hiking ashy indicator into a full Renko strategy using TradingView. We tested it across Netflix, Meta, and Tesla and saw how it performed in different market conditions. Some results were strong, others exposed limitations. But that's the beauty of building your own system, it evolves. I'll leave a link to the strategy code in the description, so you're free to use it, tweak it, and make it your own. That's a wrap on today's breakdown, thanks so much for watching. If you found this helpful, give it a like and hit subscribe for more Renko Trading Insights. Don't forget the bell icon, and I'll see you in the next one.